So the next topic what we are going to discuss today is missing terms in decimal pattern sequence. So we are given an example where we are given a sequence 0, 0 0.5, 1 and 1 1.5 and we have to find out the next two terms. So let us find out what is the pattern sequence, what is the pattern increment. 0 to 0 0.5 the increment is of 0 0.5. 1 to 0, 0 0.5 to 1 the increment is of plus 0 0.5. Same way 1 to 1. 1.5 the increment is of 0.5 so the next term will again have an increment of 0.5 1.5 plus 0.5 will give us 2 so the next term will become 2 and 2 plus 0.5 will give us 2.5 so the next term after 2 will be 2.5. So the steps are, first you find out the increment. To find out the increment, take up the bigger number, subtract the smaller previous number from it, you will get the increment and then you have to add the increment to the next number which you are going to find out, to find out the next number. Let's look at one more example where we have to find out a left hand side number. So here again the first step is to find out the increment. The increment between 2.8 and 2.1 is of 0.7. Same way the increment between 1.4 and 2.1 is 2.1 minus minus 1.4 that's again 0.7. So it's clear after checking for the two numbers that the increment is of 0.7. So there are two ways of doing it. Either as this blank is on the right hand side or is more bigger than 0, we can add 0 and 0 0.7. That gives us 0.7 as our number. Or another way is, as it is on the left hand side of 1.4, 1.4 left hand side, left hand side, so we can subtract from 1.4 so as to get us 0 0.7. So two ways of doing it. If the blank is if you have a number, let's say 2, and if you have a blank after 2, you can add. And if you have a filling the blanks before 2 and you are finding out, you have to subtract the increment or subtract the difference. Let's look at one more example where we have to find out the sequence or the terms which are on the right hand side after 0. So let's find out first what is the increment or what is the pattern. It's 1.5 minus 1. That's 0.5. So here you can see that from 1.5 to 1, if I have to go, it's a decrement of 0.5. Same way, again, 1 to 1, 0 0.5, if I'm going, there is a decrement of minus 0 0.5 or it's if I'm going from 0 0.5 to 0, again, there is a decrement of 0 0.5. Same way, if I have to go to 0 to the next term, there would be a decrement. So I have to subtract point 0 0.5 from 0, which gives me 0 0.5 to find out my new next term. Again, I have to decrement one more time 0 0.5 to find out the next term. So minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 that gives me minus 1 as the next term. So if you have to find out the right hand side of the sequence, right, uh, sorry, left hand side terms, decrement it, subtract it. If you want to find out the right hand side, add it, increment it. 